knock on her door. We're going to reveal the makeover for her and see what happens, what kind of reaction we can get. I'm not quite sure if she's going to be thrilled or surprised, but I would imagine with what's going to happen to her for the next, I don't know, eight hours when she leaves in Diamond Limousine, the world's going to change. Follow me. Let's go surprise her. Hello. Is Purette Cole home? Hello, everyone. Purette Cole. Purette Cole, you have been chosen for the million dollar makeover. Come out. Don't hide. Don't hide. Come out. That's okay. It's a million dollar makeover and she's going to be part of it. Are you excited? Good. Good. Don't worry. We're going to take good care of you. And soon you're going to be whisked away in a limousine and it's going to start like a magic evening. Can I change first? You can do anything you want. We'll be right back. Yes. Health was not my strongest point in life. Um, but uh, I've experienced cancer three times. My first time is when I was 27 years old and really looking forward to getting pregnant. And so being four months late, I thought, well, for sure I'm pregnant. So I, I couldn't wait. The next I day I decided I was just gonna make arrangement to see a doctor for a pregnancy test. And then I started hemorrhaging. So there I go. I went to the hospital in Oshawa and um, I decided that, uh, okay, maybe I'm just miscarrying. And they made some tests, and that's when they found out that it was ovarian cancer. And it was when I was in Ottawa, and my face. And it was funny because the dentist spotted the cancer itself. It showed through my an x-ray that they had taken from my teeth. And I was lopsided. Like it was I survived it and I, and I overcame that one too. But the third episode was when seven years ago, just before I met my son, and um, that's when uh, they told me that I had cancer of the liver and uh, that I had six months to a year to live. It, that took me for a loop. Uh, really threw me for a loop. I didn't know how to really deal with that issue. Um, the fact that I overcame the other two and then all of a sudden there's a third one and I know that cancer of the liver is not as easy to get rid of as most of them. But being a woman of fate, I always believe that miracles can happen. Well, you're going to be spending the night and receiving a breakfast tomorrow morning and then again, Diamond Limousine will be picking you up. So my good friend Paul, Paul is going to be taking you, and he's going to be taking good care of you. Thanks again. Enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget your bags. I'll be seeing you sooner than you think. <laughs> Okay, so we're on our way to Purette Cole's house, the mm -hmm. recipient of the million dollar makeover. Nice, I can't wait to meet her. She's a fantastic person. She's actually a cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. She's just been reunited with her son, uh, her adopted son. They've found each other over the years. She used to live in Oshawa a long time ago, moved from Sudbury back to Oshawa, to the Durham region, okay. where she met her son. And today she's going to receive a makeover that's going to blow her away. She's actually at right now Southwoods Bed and Breakfast. Beautiful. Where you're going to go pick her up in this sweet ride from Diamond Limo. Mm -hmm. While well, I bust my buns <laughs> redoing doing her house. <laughs> and I bust my buns entertaining her and going to spas and salons. So See, there'll be a lot of fun busting today. So stay tuned because we're going to go get her and it's going to be a wonderful experience. Want to know what the million dollar decorator is all about? Follow me. Wait, wait. If you're hoping for one of those decorating shows where another rich person gets their shoe room turned into a wine cellar, you're in the wrong place. This show is about giving back to someone that you think deserves something special. It's about community pulling together so that someone can actually get a break. Someone who deserves a break. It'd be nice to see for a change. But most of all, the Million Dollar Makeover is about you.
will get it done quite nicely. I think with a little bit of color, a little bit of imagination, we can turn this place into something quite spectacular. Absolutely. Get going. Get started. Let's do it. All right. colors I've chosen to use. This one here is actually molten bronze. It actually looks a little dark in the can, but actually it's going to dry darker on the wall, which is going to be really nice. A lot of people are find a lot of, I find a lot of people are afraid of color, which is nothing to be afraid of because we can always work around it. So again, molten bronze will be the color in this main area. And then as well to go with the molten bronze, we got a beautiful color called Cyan Dance. And it looks a little earthy, but it goes beautiful against the molten bronze. When the two of them are in the room together, you're going to see they're not far off, but there's just enough difference to create something really beautiful. We're going to see how it looks in a minute. Hello. Hello. This is beautiful in here. 
This is PRS. PRS, Hi. nice to meet you. Thank you. Sherry. Yes. Hi. This is Sherry, the owner, and this is Agnes. Hi. I'll be taking care of you today, PRS. So what's going to happen with PRI today? Well, we have something very special for her today. She is going to have the Spa Sedona Signature Foot Treatment, which is Whoa. a very deluxe pedicure. Mm -hmm. She's going to love, <laughs> and then we're going to uh, finish it off with a manicure. So she's going to go out, and those nails are just going to be beautiful. Wow. <laughs> so you're ready to go? No. The All owner right. of the Spa Sherry over here. Thank you so much for being a part of the Million Dollar Decorator. Hi. So excited yeah. to be part of it. It's so nice to have you on board. I mean, the, I'm seeing a theme here. This is a beautiful spa. Tell me about the concept of, of spa, spa Sedona. Sedona. Well, Spa Sedona, it's after Sedona, Arizona, which mm -hmm. is one of my favorite places that I've had a passion. I've been going there 20 years. And when I decided to open the spa, it came to me one morning, Spa Sedona, and uh, I've decorated it with a Southwest Arizona theme to it and mm -hmm. uh, it seems to give uh, people our guests when they come in they have that calm feeling and I, I really think it's the colors and everything that are in the rooms it's just so beautiful I'm so thank excited you. for Pierrette thank you again she's enjoying herself yeah she is let's go check up on her Sue, her song. Oh, that is. 
Kazoo, why don't you say hi to the camera? Hello there. Hi. This is amazing what you have going this. on here. How long have you been around? 15 years. 15. 15 years? You look 15 years old. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder how uh, how the crew's doing. I wonder what the crew is eating for lunch over at the Million Dollar Makeover. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I wonder. I am making a crouton collar Caesar salad. Crouton collar Caesar salad. Yes. Wow. I'm just assembling it right now, and then we're going to have the dressing and the bacon bits and the cheese and all the other stuff. You know, I've never had a salad that required assembly quite like this before and I can't wait to eat it uh, and I know Cash is probably having a good food too as well but uh, does your salad look like that? <laughs> you keep going. Well everything for the million dollar bingo right? That's right that's right KMK. Fifteen minutes, so I can jump in here and get back to work. And uh, Cash, I hope you're having as much fun and as much good food as I am. Later. We've got 20 minutes. I got 20 so minutes. So now it's going to be a sped up session. We won't do any, but we'll hope that you got there and get some. Beautiful. That's nice too, eh? Yeah. Do you like brown? It's very pretty. Yeah. You're not the big on brown, but why don't we? Why don't we show you some really sexy leg skin type shoes? Aren't these the cutest? Try this on, okay? Look at this, twirl for us again. Oh, that's nice too. Do you like it?
then I'm going home to see my new place. I couldn't help myself. They have a full range of sunglasses here. What do you think? Now, let's go see how Pierrot's doing. Come with me. Pierrette anymore, okay? You gotta stay tuned to the very end of the show for the reveal. Everybody, this is the end of the million dollar makeover. The recipient is about to walk through this door. I can, hold on, I can actually hear them on the other side of this door. So here it is, guys, the moment we've been waiting for. Let me get out of frame. Come on in! Unfortunately, couldn't be. Oh, sorry, Drew there. Owen had to leave because he had to go home, but he helped as well. So we all pitched together. Oh my Voila. god! Oh, it's gorgeous. This is it. And I oh, used look. I used a majority of your stuff. Yeah. Let me get this. I used a majority of your stuff around here. Don't worry. I think you just stepped on a little vinyl. That was nice. <laughs> but I used all of your own things. Share it and repeat it to look more new. Oh, it's so good. I took the ugly little cushion off. Got rid of it. So some things have been thrown away, but I really use good judgment on your things. Other things are tucked away neatly. Now, I have one word of advice to you. Everybody, please pay attention to this. Clutter is your weakness. Get rid of it. If you haven't used it in a year, let's start making it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. So this is it. Look at this. I can't believe how great you look. Oh, this is my Yeah, you look awesome. Oh. Right now, I'm gonna cut out because I'm a little tired and I wanna get some rest. 
So until the next episode, ciao. You ever wonder where the million dollar decorator gets his clothes? How he can look so good? Alcatraz.